Hello everyone, good morning. Okay, I'm Norman, um, I represent uh, Leading. We have uh, two branches in Australia, one in Sydney, uh, and the other one in, where, uh, in Melbourne. Sydney is our main warehouse, and uh, this is my colleague, Victor. Okay, so it's my honor and uh, pleasure to come here uh, to present Leading in front of you. And, uh, and uh, we are doing the surveillance, okay, and the surveillance business, and uh, here today, I just want to present to you what's the difference compared with leading with any other solutions in the market. Okay, so if you want, if you ask me one sentence to, to, to tell you what leading is different, okay, we are here to help you do the project. Okay, our predominantly business, uh, we are, um, we can do, of course, we just like everyone else, we can do four channel, eight channel, 16 channel, but we specialize are doing those 32 channel above. Okay, for example, 64, 100A, or even more. Okay, why? Because we have the total solution just show in front of you. Okay, uh, as you can see, cameras, it's a, it's a, as you know, uh, that's a bullet camera, drone camera, every, like a PTZ camera, a lot of camera, even fisheye cameras. Yes, we do. Okay, and we have stock in Australia. And in the, in the second one is the MVR. Okay, everyone currently use the digital signal like IP and they use the MVR. People find out it's handy. Also, MVR getting popular. We also have a DVR. In front of you today is a DVR. Okay, the DVR means uh, not only doing a uh, analog signal, but also uh, this one is hybrid. They also doing the IP, uh, IP, IP camera. Okay, today I'm going to spend a little bit more time on this because the project we have, a lot of people request for this. I will tell you why, okay? And the most important thing that makes us different is uh, the VMS. Normally we call the video management system, okay? So we have the video management system will be able to escalate and combine those MVR, DVR in the network into central place. For example, you have a 32 channel MVR, right? But uh, actually you have a 100 cameras for the project. How are you going to centralize one place or the screen to see all those cameras? Okay, yeah, come to us, we have a solution. Okay, we have MVRs, we have a software, we'll be able to um, take those video streams to central place and then do the TV work for you, even do the, um, the, the, the control room setup. That's how, what we do, okay? So with the software, we can do many other things, okay? And of course, the, uh, everyone talking about cloud, and we have a cloud control cloud uh, proxy, and also the health management check. It's just, uh, that's what we do, okay? Today, I'm, I'm not going to talk too much about, uh, I'm not going to talk about too much about camera or MVR because probably you already know. Okay, I'm going to talk about the DVR, which is hybrid DVR, plus uh, our VMS software. All good? Okay, so in the center, uh, we put the VMS in the centers, okay? The our VMS actually uh, can do the staking of the DVR and VR, not only the leading, but also other brands as long as they're compatible with Envif standard. And also we can build, we can use the eMap. You can see those camera, where's MVR, DVR. They can embed the Google eMap. And also we can build the TV wall. The TV wall is different from others. It's mosaic TV wall. Okay, means that you don't need to worry about the different, how many, how many uh, LED, but a combine, which is send pictures. Okay, and then um, other application like uh, number plate connections, Post machines, okay. You can integrate. You can you can work with a post machine to to take intake those the the invoice informations and the print the, the the information on the video, uh, the screen. Yes, we can do that. Access control, and the most importantly, we can work um, the different users. If you have uh, multiple users who want to access the network or the the the, the footage they have a different right, for example, for police, for Kongju, um, for administration, for, for receptions, they have all different rights. They can manage by our software, okay? Sure. 
So uh, the right the right hand corner side and it's our project we're doing for Vietnam, which is a police department. Okay, there's uh, 3,000 camera on the street, consolidated into one place. And the, the, the right hand button one is the, 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 the project we're doing in the Taipei city, it's a traffic management. You can see the center one, which is the, the, the Google map. Actually, you can trace the vehicles on the Google map. And then you can click and then you can see the status on VR, TBR. This is what the, our software can do. Yes, so we are here to help um, because we can the, because of software, we can do uh, airport project, and the hospital project, hotel project, and also even like a student student accommodations, high rise buildings, and uh, all kind of a project. Does it matter small or big? Yes, we can. Okay. Okay, then I start to talk about a little bit about living. Okay. Um, yes, by the way, I have a, a small gift for you today, okay? So um, by the end of the sessions, if you answer the right questions, you get a gift. This one is a, a 10 gigabit uh, USB hub, okay? Normally in the market, you get 5 gigabit. That's the speed. This one is 10 gigabit. This is a very premium one, okay? Okay, so with the answer actually on this page. <laughs> 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 okay, so Lili is a Taiwanese company, our, our base in Taiwan, and the R&D team, and, uh, and uh, we, we are a Taiwanese company, and we're doing a lot of projects with government, with education, with military, and uh, even uh, schools, and uh, just like uh, I said, and all kind of the big high-rise buildings. And we are 40 years companies, okay? And we have 10 branches, of office worldwide. Okay, we have two branches in Australia, and we join all the trade show worldwide, okay, all the security trade show. So this is what leading. Oh. We follow the all the, um, the, the, the international uh, the standard and the, and also ISO and the UL and the, and the even the uh, EMARC everything and the, of course including RCA in Australia. Okay, this is something which is uh, normally we will present to our customers. Um, you, you might heard about Unweave. Okay, it's a common protocol within the uh, network um, devices, uh, the surveillance devices. <clears throat> we are the very first Unweave confirmed products released in the market. Okay, so because we are, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, because we are the very first one, that's why the <coughs> Unweave uh, organization, they just honor us. <coughs> to put the uh, leading is uh, the very first to pass the Unweave protocol. <coughs> okay, <coughs> see, our VMS and our solution compatible with all major other um, um, competitors or players in the market, <coughs> like uh, Ava, Control4, and the others, you might heard about them, and, um, and the Genetech, like this one, and also in the, in the um, GeoVision. Milestone, which is also, they focus on a lot of VMS in Australia. Nuo, Neural Optic, QNAP. Synologies, okay, they are all, we are all compatible with them. This is what we do, okay? Okay, <clears throat> this is about, uh, um, about the fundamental business we are doing. Today, I'm here to introduce you um, our hybrid DVR, okay? The reason I, I focus on this, because a lot of projects or a lot of uh, uh, customers coming back to us, they have normally have an issue with the old legacy cameras, right? Because, oh, when they go there, all oh, this uh, camera over there, maybe 10 years already or five years already, they're all using the analog, okay? to rewire of those ca the camera cost time and money. So people normally, they're looking for the reliable and the user-friendly and also wider comp compatibility products. The DVR, this is the one I'm going to introduce you today, okay? This one can take 16 channel analog signals and uh, um, including the HD camera, CVI camera, TVI camera, 
and the OHVR cameras, okay? Of course, they also can take IP cameras, okay? So the reason we bring this one to here because it also work with DOS, the DOS HD camera, and also any other brand in the market like NAS, Hypervision Dawa, okay? So these are the products I'm going to um, talk about this today, okay, about um, what's the difference between these products compared with other products, okay? Other players, okay? Any questions? Okay, uh, just like uh, every player does, we have a P2P, uh, so it's, it's simply just scan the QR code. After you connect our camera, scan the QR code, then easily you can see those screen pop up on your camera. Oh, sorry, on your phone. Okay, so we have a QR code easy for to, for user to use. Okay, this one is something a little bit different. Okay, what we call the HTML5 support. It means that uh, we thought we we have this protocol, and the, what this protocol does is they will be able to support multiple platform, it's open source. So for example, the, your, your customer using a iOS, Android, or maybe MacBook, or Windows, even Linux. Okay, within the intranet, they type in the, the, the address, they will see the, the screen pop up from the DVR. And the, only for those um, DVR and VR support HTML5, this one does. And the, all the leading products does. Okay, so it's something uh, different. Okay, so if your customer talking, they are using MacBook, they want to see the DVR or MVR. It's hard for other, other any other brand, but with us, it's easy. You just type in the URL, username, and password, straight away pop out the, the this one. Okay, this is something different. Also. Uh, How the uh, DVR and VR also support the leading edge AI technologies. So people talk about the vehicle detections, human detections on the edge AI cameras. For example, your customer want to upgrade systems. We can take the old analog camera, plus you can add those leading edge AI camera for them. Tell them this is different. Okay, this one can detect the people, human, Okay, this DVR and VR works with leading edge AI camera. Okay. But that AI detection is built into the camera, yeah, not in the. Uh, uh, no, the, uh, yeah, yeah, correct. You are correct. Yeah, the AI actually building on the, the camera. Yeah, but it works with the DVR and VR, and the, uh, even with our VMS system. Welcome. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, no, no. It's okay. <coughs> okay. So. We, all, we also have something different compared to other players in the market. See, the, um, in Australia, we're doing lots of uh, control for business. You might heard about control for uh, from your customers. Your customer might doing a lot of control for into installations. Why control for? Because control for is a premium grade smart home uh, solutions in the market. They focus on doing like uh, home theater. Okay, they will buy a TV from you, they will buy the speaker from you, they will buy a lot of things from you, and uh, a lot of them doing the control for uh, controllers. And the leading is uh, been working with control for, for more than eight years. So you will be able to download free driver from the control for, control for website. And then once you install the driver on the control for controllers, you will be able to see the icon on the panel of the leading DVR, MVR, or even cameras. And you can see the, 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 the cameras on the TV screen or your pad. And then you even can do the playback on your TV or your pad. Oh, this is something also different compared with other players in the market. And then this driver is, for, is free. And then we are the one to, to support that. Okay? That's using, that's using a smart TV. Uh, this one's using the uh, control for controllers. Yeah, control for mm -hmm. control. This is a control for uh, is a controller base, and they're doing the home theater things, and also doing the home uh, the home automation things. Yeah. So we don't sell control for, but we work works then. 
this is something for, for, for your uh, question, um, answer your questions. <clears throat> because we find out some customers, they do need similar things, like uh, the one you just saw for the control form. Yes, we have an app which should actually work with the Google TV and the Fire TV. Okay, so you just go to the TV and download the app, and then easily you can see our DVR and VR from the Google TV or Fire TV, okay? And then this is a quarter view and a 16 view, okay? So through our NVR and DVR, okay? So this is something probably, it's a, it's a really handy one, but people not currently not emphasize or talk about that that much, but future, yes, okay? This is a, a definitely needs for the, for the home, like a, a environment, residential, residential environment. So yes, we can. How secure is that if you are... Oh, no, no, just within, the, just within your house. Oh, okay. No, you, you can't... Okay. Yeah, yeah you, local, yeah, thank you. You can't go, go to the internet because the traffic was too heavy okay. for... Yeah. Okay. Apart from the Control 4, but also we work with the Fibaro. Okay, the, the Control 4 and the Fibaro, they are the most popular two controllers in the Australian market. Uh, Control 4, pro probably you will say the premium one. The middle range will be Fibaro, and also you also sell Fibaro. And the, we have a driver with Fibaro on the Fibaro website. Also, people can download and see the instructions, and the, it will work uh, with our PT, mini PTZ camera, this one. This is our PTZ camera, this one. And the, this is mini PTZ. So on the Fibaro, uh, the UI or panel, you will be able to see the PTZ. Okay, the functions on the phone or on the on the pad. Okay, so leading also compatible with Fibaro. Uh, <clears throat> also, recently we have a third party um, partner so, as well. They doing the Acuvox is over here. They focus on the intercom solutions. We don't. <clears throat> they do. So we integrate with the Acuvox intercom. <clears throat> <clears throat> And also, why Aquavox? Because Aquavox doing a similar, similar thing like us. They, they have a driver for Control 4. They also have a driver for the Fibaro. So which means uh, uh, between leading Aquavox and also um, it, we can form an ecosystem. Okay, how it does, I can show you here. <coughs> this is a panel normally you get for the intercom. Okay, and uh, this is, uh, you can see my hand. You can see the intercom uh, the, over here. But also, this is our DVR. Oh, you also can see my hand over, over there. Means our DVR intake of the signal from the door station. And the, even their panel take our, the signal from our camera. So, and our NVR, DVR will be able to record those door station information. You can set out like a motion detection or even even recording or when you press a button, they start to recall. Okay, so this is a this is the ecosystem we are talking about. Okay, all good? They direct uh, cables to the NVR, the uh, front door station and the yeah. third Sure, this one is uh, PoE power. This one is all PoE power. So they go to the PoE switch over here. Yeah, PoE and the connect to the, the to the network. Also, the this is display of this one. Okay, so all those devices are PoE power within the network. Okay. So they're on the network, not necessarily connected to the DVR. Yeah, yeah, they're on the network. Yes, thank you. Yeah, but to the network. Yeah. yeah, to the network exactly. So this is uh, I just bring the smallest one of the intercom of the the door station of the Aquavos, easy and handy. This one is also won the uh, if uh, IF award from Germany. It's a really popular one. Small size and this is ring. This is uh, you can do the doorbell. Also, they have uh, the the middle one, which is also popular, and also with the LED one with a swipe car. Okay, and also keypad. So uh, Akuvas they also compatible with Control for Energy Power. So that's why this whole ecosystem all together. Okay, so. Not only that, but also the because our the app is so small, so you can easily in, um, uh, install our app on all kind of all kind of Android platform. For example, this one, 
the Android IP phone. Okay, so on this screen you can see the 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 IP phone. You will be able to see the the 16 cameras on one screen, and the, you can do the control, room in, room out, large, in large and small, and also you even can do the playback over here. So it's another idea when people do in the office environment. People might think about this. And then recently we have another experiment um, project and we try to um, turn our mobile phone uh, into the IP camera and then the IP camera will be able to uh, work without DVR and VR and then do the recording. So which means that turn your mobile phone into the body cameras within the Wi-Fi wi environments. So and we successfully made it make this happen, and and there's something interesting. Okay, do you want to see the video? I can show you how it works. Okay, so you will there's a quarter of you. Okay, and you will see one people that start to uh, using the mobile phone to do the recording when they when they working, and also you can see other camera actually spot the person, and and they record everything all together. So it can be done. It's a, it's a really handy solution for residential uh, or domestic uh, environments. The, the reason being because you can use your, uh, the, the iPhone to do as a body camera. So I, let me show you. That is our um, uh, Sydney branch office. See the guy is uh, recording on the camera. Also, his uh, cap phone also recording. Wi-Fi yeah, 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 exactly. No, 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 no. You can, but of course the quality is not good enough. <clears throat> Okay, that's the environment. Okay, in the futures, in the futures, if we talk about five G, if everyone using the five G, mm -hmm. this one will become the popular one. Okay. Yeah, because five G the bandwidth is a ten gigabit uplink. Oh, sorry, one gig uplink at least. So by the time this one is too easy for everyone, even when someone travel internationally. Oh, sorry, Australia, if within the five G network, this one can be real. But uh, of course, right now it's four G only. So I, that's why we suggest only within the Wi-Fi area, okay? But this is a scenario you, uh, you will see gradually year on year, okay? So this is something we do for the project as well, experiment, which is uh, people found out is interesting. Okay, we also can, um, uh, this is also another experiment, uh, the kind of a project actually. So we, we do the, uh, the we, can, we can turn the, the screenshot into the video stream. We can turn the web camera into a video stream and then record on the MVR DVR. So the environments like uh, the post, post machine, like a retail shop, they have a post machine like a window base and, uh, and also doesn't matter or Android base and uh, download app and then you can start to recording 
they are what are the, the stuff I are doing on the on the, the post machine. And you can see the whole footage and it works with our MVR DVR. This is one another project we are doing. So turn your web camera and the, your uh, screenshot into the video stream. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this is our the the real projects in, in Taiwan. And there are about uh, 25, 25 thousand retail shops of the 7-Eleven and all family mart all together. So every small corner they sell that with one shop. Okay, then they're using our DVR. Okay. The reason be because similar things like they have an old legacy camera and a new IP camera. So they deploy uh, they, they use our DVR, old branch, old branch, and across the uh, Taiwan, okay? And uh, because we have the uh, VMS software, video management software, works with our MVR DVR um, um, 100%. So we will be able to um, help them to build the control centers, okay? That they can, they can centralize all the video streaming to their, 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 their headquarters, and then they use the Google Map to identify which shop. When you click on the Google map of the shop, straight away you pop up the, the DVR on the screen. Okay, that's all software can do. Okay, so which means, uh, um, yes, whenever, whenever someone talks to you, says, I want to have something like a 32 channel, 64 channel, or 108 channel, come to us. Because we have a DVR and VR and the camera with the the software which will be able to integrate everything into one place okay doesn't matter as a branch office or high-rise building yes that's what we do okay this is uh something i showed you before in the beginning oh this is uh this is all about our vms so it's a uh, that it make our different they they make ours different compared with other players in the market Okay, and also show you all kind of project we can do, like a retail, hotel, high rise, even the airport. This is another project we do in, in Malaysia. The retail, sh the the like just like uh, the Westfield or the sh the shopping mall. This is something we can do. Okay, this is another uh, project we do in uh, for the uh, Bangladesh, the city developments. They take about two thousand cameras over there. And this is the control room. Okay, and the last part, the very last part is the see. Um, you might heard about a lot of AI, AI smart camera or AI AI. So what they people do is that they buy the the modules from the market and embed it on their their solutions and they turn their camera into smart or AI. Okay, so really it's because we have our own R and D teams. We develop. Our AI. So even not, not only that, but we also can customize the AI in the future for your customers. Recently, we have project like uh, we using those uh, AI technologies to, de to to detect kangaroos. That's actually Victor doing. He doing the the AI program. So the camera, whenever they detect the kangaroo, they'll send a trigger. So when, whenever they say backyard, you jump into kangaroo, the house owner will know. Okay, this is something we do for, 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 for fun. And then um, um, in UK, we actually we do another project like uh, the customer need uh, like uh, where they need uh, the wear, ye wear the, the yellow jacket. When people wear the yellow jacket, they are, there's no trigger. But when people walk in to the, to, the, to the factory with no yellow jacket, they will trigger. That's something we can do also. So again, um, Leading is not only the surveillance company, surveillance manufacturing, but also in the future will become the AI design house. Okay, so this is some project about AI and the number of recognition, object recognitions, even the poker machine. <laughs> okay, I this, this is my presentations. Do you have any questions? Uh, this is a Korean-based. Um, uh, Taiwan. Manufacturer? Taiwan. Taiwan. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. So is the VMS software free or uh, VMS actually this cost money. Uh, cost money. So is a, this is a free version or and also payment pay version. Uh, the free version just like a POC and you can do the 
proof of concept, come to us, we can help you set up, you know, and we welcome you to do a training too. Yeah. And also the, for, the, for the license, it depends on the project. Okay, normally we are embedded in, a, for example, you use our cameras, then we will discount that yeah. too. Okay. It's so. kind of like um, network optics. Yeah, 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 yeah. But compared with leading network optics, they, uh, network optics, they, they are purely doing the VMS. They don't, they don't do the camera, right? Yeah. So the, we actually, so this is also our advantage if you're talking about the neural optic, right? You need to pay a license fee in the neural optic and then buy the ex uh, camera from the market, right? Sometimes compatibility is okay, sometimes not. Yeah, but with leading, um, we have a VMS. Okay, can do a similar thing like a v uh, neural optic. And also, but it's fully compatible with uh, leading products. Plus, and because you, you're using our cameras, so we can talk about how to discount those license. So you make your project more feasible and uh, more yeah. affordable. Okay, and uh, we are, have a team over here to support all the projects here. Yep, yeah. all good. So it's, uh, any question? So with the intercom side of it. Yeah, yeah, please. If you didn't have the picture selected on screen already, does it push through if someone do gets a doorbell? You mean, you mean from, sorry. I, so you've got it on the main screen, like this one. Yeah, you've got it on the main screen. You've got it up on the main screen too, have you? Well, you did have it, but if it wasn't showing on that main screen, like your hand there, if, it, if you didn't have that already selected, you had four or five other cameras selected, and someone rang the doorbell, would it automatically come up onto the screen? Oh no, 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 no. But uh, yeah, but you can set up like uh, idle mode or sleep mode or motion mode. Okay, but we actually we didn't set all this one. We just demonstrate. Yeah, you can see the, you can see the uh, doorbell uh, from the MVR or DVR, and the plus the. Do you see the application I just mentioned to you, like a Google TV? Okay, so when someone ring the bell, what you need to do just open the TV and then click the soft the, the app. Straight away you will be able to to see the the gate. Okay, the gate, who is off. Uh, so you don't need to always go to the gate. So that is uh, because this is an ecosystem already. I think what Leon is saying is, let's say we have a 16 camera set up and currently you're seeing four unrelated cameras. Yeah. So when you push the intercom button, will it switch to the intercom, to the doorbell? Uh, with this one, no. Yeah. But with this one, yes. Yeah, with the panel, yes. Yeah. In terms of, I'm just saying, if you're sitting inside on your main screen watching yeah. 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 So this this work with a video stream, but this one is a hundred percent work with their there. Yeah. Whenever you press a button, this one will pop out on the on the panel. Yeah, which is correct. How many of the small screens can you add? Yeah, it can up to uh, five. Yeah, different room, different place, and then this one also can do the high rise building too. So with their software. Okay. Any other questions? All good. So I have some more questions, which is already show you. <laughs> okay, so um, the question is, uh, how many years of the leading? Raise your hand. 40. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you are much. listening. Good, good, good. Easy answer, right? <laughs> okay, so I finished my presentation. Thank you, thank you to listen to us. Thank you. Pleasure. <laughs>